uh, bawal talaga ang uh, pagkolekta sa estudyante and that is being honored by um, by DepEd. In other words, hindi pwedeng maglabas ang DepEd, ang principal, ang teacher ng request or or uh, request for contribution na ibinibigay sa estudyante. Bawal po talaga 'yon. Bawal. But, so kung bawal po, bakit correct. po nangongolekta pa rin sila sa mga estudyante, special po sa mga hirap? Mr. President, I would like to clarify, never po sila nangongolekta sa estudyante. Wala okay. ho silang collection sa estudyante. Ang meron, so I'm that, sorry, I'm sorry, so I, that I, we can identify the issue. I can, no, the I issue... beg to disagree, ma'am. Ito po, ito po, lahat ng mga nagsumbong sa akin. De, sir, the these issue, are the stud, I, I don't These think... are the list of parents na nagsumbong sa akin iba't ibang eskwelahan sa buong Pilipinas na kung saan sila po ay sa pinitang kinukolektahan ng mga electric fan at kung ano pang mga gamit sa eskwelahan na meron man pong budget sa MOE ang debit for those things. Mr. Bongo? Um, majority floor leader. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, next to uh, uh, ask questions, Mr. President, is the uh, distinguished gentleman. Actually, oh. may opening statement pa po. Yes, Mr. President, Mr. President may, <laughs> may, recognize may I the sponsor? just uh, yes. move that we recognize the sponsor of the measure, the uh, uh, Senior Vice Chairperson of the Senate Committee on Finance, Senator uh, Pia Cayetano. So move, Senator Cayetano is recognized. Thank you. Just to put on record, Mr. President, the budget. Uh, I'm ready to sponsor the budget of the Department of Education, the Office of the Secretary, with a total new appropriations of 715 billion, 839 million, and 92,000 pesos. Also, the Early Childhood Care and Development Council, with a total new appropriations of 290 million, 166,000 pesos. The National Academy of Sports, with a total new appropriation of 230 million, 587,000 pesos. The National Book Development Board with a total new appropriation of 178 million 471 thousand pesos. The National Council for Children's Television with a total new appropriation of 82 million and 80 thousand pesos. The National Museum of the Philippines with a total new appropriation of 1 billion 364 million 202 thousand pesos. And the Philippine High School for the Arts with a total new appropriation of 98 million 241 thousand pesos. Uh, with this, Your Honor, I'm ready to accept questions from our colleagues. Thank you very much, our dear sponsor. Other than Senator Rafi, two voice recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, uh, Senator Pia Caetano. Mr. President, I would like to put in on record that I fully support the 715 billion pesos or more, uh, the budget uh, of uh, DepEd for 2024. I don't have any problem with that whatsoever. However, just like before during the uh, committee hearing, uh, I just had some few concerns, and those concerns weren't really answered because of the lack of time. And, um, and I was informed that uh, I need to produce uh, uh, certain documents to justify uh, some things that I did mention during that particular hearing. I'm concerned kulang po talaga for the longest time. May, may I just, before the gentleman proceeds, um, the Senate version is now 718.08. Okay, 718. Pesos. Let's make it 719. No, 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 we have to be accurate on it. Okay, 718. 700, like I said, I don't have any problem whatsoever pagdating po sa budget ngayon for 2024 para Thank sa DepEd. Wala po tayong question dyan. Regardless, kahit na po uh, medyo kumulang, Wala pa rin po akong problema. Thank you. Para maging klaro po tayo. Ang problema ko, ang issue ko lang po kasi, for so many years po, sa programa ko sa Wanted sa radyo, palagi po ako nakatanggap ng reklamo mula sa mga magulang ng mga estudyante sa elementary at high school na karamihan sa kanila ay mga mag-aaral, mga magulang mag-aaral ng mga security guard, kasambahay, factory worker na sila po ay naubliga mag-contribute na required ng eskwelahan through PTA para sa iba't ibang mga pangangailangan tulad ng electric fan tulad ng jobos
tulad ng bond paper, tulad ng pambayad para sa sweldo ng security guard, sweldo ng janitor, uh, para sa utility bills, etc., 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 na hindi po dapat dahil meron man po talaga budget ang DepEd dyan through the MOOE. Now, uh, paano po nakukolekta itong perang ito? Para magkaroon po tayo ng idea lahat. Ang nangyari po ay dinadaan sa PTA, Parents Teachers Association. Now, pag start po ng school year, nagpapatawag po ang PTA ng General Assembly. At pagdating po dun sa General Assembly, magbobotan sila muna ng mga officers. Right after na maboto po yung officers, ang next agenda agad ay maghanap sila ng proyekto, kailangan nila mag-identify ng proyekto para sa eskwelahan. At ano po yung mga proyektong yun? Yun po yung mga gastusin na aking pong binanggit. Okay. Now, I want to put a stop to it. I really do. As much as possible during my watch as a senator of the republic. Pero napagsabihan po ako noon na kung gusto ko pong baguhin yung pulisya ng pangolekta to PTA, gumawa na po ako ng batas. Now, I don't have to. Dahil nakita ko na po, very clear na sa akin, na meron naman pala talagang batas. Kaya lang, yung batas na yun ay hindi na-implement. Republic Act 4206, noong 1965, na-enact yan, which prohibits collection and even voluntary or otherwise from elementary schools sa public schools. Except for Red Cross, except for um, in fact, the only ones that was mentioned was Red Cross. Now, noong 1969, RA 5546 was enacted para eh, ma-amend yung 4206. Dito po sa 5546, mas lalo naging malawak po yung prohibition sa collection. Maybe the good sponsor might want to react doon po sa dalawang batas na aking pong nabanggit. Thank you. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, no, here. Change. Uh, Mr. President, uh, the concern of the gentleman was raised during the hearing. And uh, the Vice President Secretary of uh, DepEd uh, responded by mentioning Department Order Number 49 series of, series of 2022 which is a no-fee, no-collection policy. Tama ba yan? No fee, no fee, no collection policy, uh, which, which they are strictly implementing. And it was further discussed during that hearing that um, there, there is uh, the PTA in almost every school that does their own fundraising efforts. And uh, it being a parent-initiated um, organization, uh, they are allowed to do that. So, we, in connection with the law that His Honor pointed out, that is exactly consistent with the department order of the department. But the department no order cannot if, supersede. If I may, okay, if I may just right, continue, sorry, Your sorry. Honor. Okay. So, the department order has the very same policy. No fee, no collection. The department and all their subordinates, meaning the teachers, are not allowed to initiate or to tolerate these collection efforts. But this does not prevent the parents from having their own fundraising. Uh, this system has been um, practiced for decades. Ayan, finally lumakas. This system has been practiced for decades and it has been a a private initiative of the parents 
that has allowed uh, many projects to to see the light. No, anything from gate fencing, gardening, um, events. Uh, it's a PTA initiative, and I think that's why it was mentioned that. Uh, if there is a desire to change that policy, there must be a law because currently the DepEd order is consistent with the existing law mentioned by His Honor. Okay, Mr. President, may I ask the good sponsor kung uh, uh, sabi niya sa akin yung bang uh, department order na yon at saan po doon sa dalawang batas na binanggit ko, RA uh, 4206 and RA 5546, Alin doon na nagsasabing pinapayagan na mangulekta ang mga eskulahan o mga magulang para sa kontribusyon sa eskulahan? Can you please show it to me? Maybe I can help the good sponsor para mas mapabilis tayo rito if she will allow me to. Uh, Your Honor, if, if His Honor can, can, Mr. President, if His Honor can give me a minute to okay. just review okay. and then I will be happy to yield the floor, of course, anytime. Yes, sure, session suspended for me. Thank you, Mr. President, and uh, thank you for the patience of the sponsor. Uh, as His Honor had pointed out, it's a 1965 and 1969, no, the first one was 65 yata, and 69 law, so this, this representation had to refresh herself on uh, those laws, Your Honor. Hindi pa ho ako pinapanganak nung 1965. Nung inamend, nung inamend, pinanganak na ako, pero hindi ko pa to nabasa, inaamin ko naman po. Um, anyway, if, if we may go to the very uh, important point of the gentleman, no? uh, first of all, let's put on record that uh, we respect his honor's um, uh, concern uh, for the uh, parents no? who have uh, expressed their, their problems, no? who have uh, reached out to share their problems. No, we, we respect that, your honor, and we, we totally respect and appreciate his honor's um, persistence in uh, bringing this to the attention of DepEd so that uh, if there are solutions that can be made, they can be made. Uh, with that in mind, your honor, the question of, of uh, 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 his honor, if I may paraphrase it to be sure that I respond um, accurately is, um, meron namang batas na nagbabawal na magkolekta ang uh, PTA. Tama ho ba ang intindi ko sa tanong? Is that a correct uh, understanding? Uh, RA 5546, bawal po talaga ang contribution collection sa mga estudyante whatsoever. Whether yan ay voluntary other or otherwise. Except for Red Cross, Girl Scout, Boy Scout, and Barrio High School. Yun lang po talaga minention sa 5546. Wala nang iba pa. Kaya kung meron pong ginagawang collection other than those mentions, then that is against the law, against 5546, which is happening right now in so many public elementary high school. And marami pong lumabas na mga department order, and I can mention a few of them, now they're trying to circumvent the law para lamang matuloy yung gusto nila mangyari ng eskwelahan na kumolekta. Ang point ko lamang po dito, Mr. President, Your Honor, Madam, mag-implement na tayo ng policy. Meron tayong law, then dapat it's up to the executive para ma-implement itong law. Because the last time I was said, I was informed na gumawa ko ng batas para ma-implement na raw, mag-implement ng batas. Nagagawin ko, I don't have to because meron na palang dalawang batas, uh, Your Honor. Yes. Um, Your Honor, uh, Mr. President, uh, His Honor is correct in, in uh, 
in his paraphrasing or, or delivering the uh, provisions of RA 5546, kung saan ho, and I will just read it, no, para clear, yes, ang, mala, maintindihan din ng mga kasamahan natin yung uh, issue po na malapit po sa puso ng ating kasamahan. The section 1 of RA 5546 states, the sale of tickets and or the collection of contributions in any form whatsoever by any person for any project or purpose, whether voluntary or otherwise, from school children, students and teachers of public and private schools, colleges and university, universities is hereby prohibited. Tama po, sir, no? Yan, Mr. President, yan po ang uh, tinutukoy ng ating kasamahan. Tama po. Tama ho ba? I agree. Yes, okay. So, uh, nung ako ho ay nakikipagdiskusyon sa DepEd, uh, aware po sila dito na bawal talaga ang, uh, ang uh, collections of contributions in any form from school children, students, and teachers. And that is why in uh, their department order number 49 series of 2022, uh, known as the promotion of professionalism in the implementation and delivery of basic education programs and services, prohibits DepEd officials and employees from seeking contribution, support, solicitation of any kind or any kind of intervention from non-DepEd entities. It goes on to say, likewise, the department implements a no-fee collection policy wherein no fees shall be collected from learners in kindergarten up to grade 4, while fees on certain memberships may be collected from learners in grade 5 and above strictly on a voluntary basis, uh, i.e.g. Boys, Boys and Girl Scouts, Philippine National Red Cross, Parent Teachers Associations. So ito po yata, sir, ang... Uh, implementing order na hinahanap nyo, uh, Mr. President. Uh, does this, does his own, is his honor, do I respond to his honor's question uh, by by uh, pointing out this DepEd order number 49? Thank you, Mr. President, your honor. Pero, can a department order supersedes a republic act? Uh, Mr. President, uh, in my humble legal opinion, this department order is consistent with the law. But I am very open to hear His Honor's concerns kung meron dito sa department order na inconsistent kasi isa po ako sa naniniwala na hindi talaga dapat nagsusupersede ang Correct. isang department Thank order. You. We are one with that. Thank and you. I let the record show that the minority floor leader is nodding his head because for more than a decade, magkakasama kami always uh, si, always reviewing this uh, department orders. Hindi ho tayo okay. nagtotolerate na nage exactly. So, nagkakaisa po tayo dyan, Mr. President. Pero, dito po sa RA5546, Mr. President, Your Honor, Madam, totally pinagbabawal ang any form of collections, voluntary or otherwise, except Red Cross Girl Scout, Boy Scout, and then donors for the support of Barrio High School. And I have a definition of Barrio High School with me. Never did this uh, RA mention about PTA. Y yes, Your Ma Honor, uh, we noted that the mention of PTA is now in that department order. Upon further review and discussion with the DepEd, uh, we are um, we are now um, looking at the entirety of RA five five four six, wherein it states. Thank you. Um, Mr. President, um, uh, when we look at RA 5546, Section 1, and I will repeat, I will read it again, the sale of tickets and or the collection of contributions in any form whatsoever by any person for any project or purpose, whether voluntary or otherwise, from, one, school children, 
two students and three teachers are hereby prohibited. So in the case of the PTA, Your Honor, uh, what has been the policy of DepEd since 1969, uh, just to be clear, it is not the policy of uh, this uh, uh, administration alone, but since 1969, no, minana nila ang policy, is that there is a total ban on collection from the children, the school children, the students, and other teachers. But they, they recognize PTA as a separate entity that can, that are on their own, have their own rules and guidelines, and may on their own uh, come up with find fundraisings uh, that are voluntary in nature. Fundraisings, okay. Well, I, I, just to be clear, Your Honor, okay. that is my own choice of words, That's Mr. President, words. yung fundraising. No? Okay. I, I use it generically po, Madam, Mr. President. Meron ba diyang batas na kung saan, batas tayo, dinidefine ang meaning and function ng PTA? Alam niyo po ba yun? Uh, dito sa RA 50, 50, 5546, wala hong banggit wala. ng PTA. Tama. Wala Pero um, I, I will ask uh, DepEd if there are no, any don't, other... No, don't ask DepEd. Ako don't bahala. need to know. Okay. Ako nang bahala. Yes, Mr. President. PD 63603, December 10, 1974, define ang meaning ng PTA. At nowhere here na nagsasabi ang PTA pwedeng mangulekta. Ang sinasabi rito, ang PTA isang programa samahan na para tulungan ng mga estudyante sa kanilang academic performance. Kung ano mga problema ng estudyante, anong problema ng mga magulang at teachers tungkol sa estudyante to enhance their participation sa eskwelahan, yun po yung purpose. Look at PD 603, ma'am. I'll give you a minute. PD 603, December 10, 1974. It is a forum being provided by the law para yung mga magulang at uh, ng mga estudyante at guro ay magkaroon ng pagkakataon mapag-usapan yung welfare ng mga estudyante. Yung pong pinakabuod. Yeah. Um, Never sir, doon sa PD na yan did mention na pwedeng mangulekta ang PTA ng contribution o collection para sa mga proyekto ng anumang mga proyekto sa isang eskwelahan. Yes. Mr. President, uh, I will respond to His uh, Honor's um, observation on the definition of PTA. Um, umpisan ko po kung ano tong PD603, no? This is the Child and Welfare Code. Uh, familiar po tayo dyan. Um, it is a, it is a, uh, uh, it's basically a law that uh, uh, governs, um, is meant to protect children. And section 70, ano yun? 77. Section 77, um, yeah, just to be clear, malawak ko itong batas na ito kasi ito din ho ang naging foundation ng Foster Care Act na naging basis ng mga amendments natin on foster care law. So it's a very general law, quite um, quite detailed no, in, in various ways of protecting children. So there is a uh, section on home and school, chapter 2 po ito. And Article 77, as His, as his Honor correctly points out, uh, mentions Parent Teachers Association. It states every elementary and secondary school shall organize a parent teacher association for the purpose of providing a forum for the discussion of problems and their solutions relating to the total school program and for ensuring the full cooperation of parents in the efficient implementation of such programs. All parents who have children enrolled in a school are encouraged to be active members of its PTA and to comply with whatever obligation and responsibility such membership entails. Parent-teacher associations all over the country shall aid the municipal and the local authorities and school officials in the enforcement of juvenile de delinquent control measures and in the implementation of programs and activities to promote child welfare. Mr. President, in response to His Honor's uh, concern or, or um, conclusion that the parent teachers association do not have the authority to collect. Tama ho, no, sir, Mr. President, that, that is the question, no, that the parent teacher association, by definition here in PD 603, do not have the authority to collect. That is the uh, question. Let correct? me rephrase what I said, uh, Mr. President, Your Honor. 
I want a clear definition in our law that states that the PTA is allowed to collect contributions voluntary or otherwise sa ampo sa ating konstitusyon, sa ampo sa ating batas. Yun po gusto ko para maging malino po sa ating lahat. Yes, Dapat understood. po nandito, meron po ba? In fact, ang nakita ko lamang pong definition ng PTA, which is sabi mo very vague, general, is PD603, pinakamalapit. However, dito sa PD603, hindi po sinasabi na ang PTA ay binuo para mangulekta sa mga estudyante ang mga eskwelahan. Mr. President, Your Honor, Madam. Mr. President, I, I just needed to confer with uh, DepEd if tama po ang intindi ko. So, um, in, the, in, in, Article 7, in Article 77 of PD 603, which I had just read into the record, uh, as, as I said, it states there that... Um, Uh, that every elementary school shall organize ito nga hong PTA um, relating to the total school program to ensure full cooperation of parents in the efficient implementation of such programs. To address, uh, they are meant to create a forum to address the problems and, their, and the solutions. So uh, the, the practice of DepEd has been to support, the, to allow the PTA to... Uh, follow the mandate of Article 77, and if they need to raise funds to be able to address these problems and solutions, including um, the implementation of the programs, then they are governed by their own guidelines in, implementa in implementing those I'm, programs. I'm sorry, Mr. Including President. Yung pa at taposin ko lang po. Sige po. Including yung fundraising. Yan po ang naging practice uh, ng DepEd since 1969 po. Practice is different from what the law says. There, yes, there, you can practice anything you want. Pwede mag-practice ang DepEd. Lahat ng klaseng practice na gusto nila. Pero dapat nandoon sa batas. Pero kung walang sa batas yan, then yung practice na yon ay labag sa batas. There Again, is actually, Mr. Ma President, ma ma no prohibition. Po, sinabi mo kasi, Madam, fundraising. So, pwede mag-fundraising ang DepEd. It's been a practice uh, through the DepEd, magkakaroon silang fundraising under PD-603. Pero, Mr. President, Your Honor, sa PD-603, wala talaga ako makita rito, kahit na letter by letter, tinitingnan ko, wala talaga nagsabi rito na pwede mag-fundraising, na pwede humingi ng contribution, uh, humingi ng uh, um, tinatawag na voluntary contribution Wala talaga. So it seems to me na yung DepEd ay gumagawa-gawa ng sarili nila ng uh, guidelines sa isang batas. Gumagawa sila ng sarili nilang IRR. Uh, Mr. President, I'll go back to what the Republic Act states. It prevents, it prohibits, it prohibits uh, collection and contribution from students. And so the policy of DepEd has been to allow the PTAs to follow their own guidelines wherein uh, contributions among the parents are allowed. So okay. to be clear, just to be clear, Mr. President, um, importante po na, na maliwanag yung pagka, pagsagot ko sa napakamahalagang tanong ng ating uh, kasamahan. Uh, bawal talaga ang uh, pagkolektas na estudyante and that is being honored by um, 
by DepEd. In other words, hindi pwedeng maglabas ang DepEd, ang principal, ang teacher ng request or, or uh, request for contribution na ibinibigay sa estudyante. Bawal po talaga yun. Bawal. But, so kung bawal po, bakit correct. po nangungulekta pa rin sila sa mga estudyante, especially po Mr. sa mga hirap? Mr. President, I would like to clarify, never po sila nangungulekta sa estudyante. Wala okay. ho silang collection sa estudyante. Ang meron, so I'm that, sorry, we, are, sorry, so I, that I, we can identify the issue. I, no, can, the I issue... beg to disagree, ma'am. Ito po, ito po, lahat naman nagsumbong sa akin. De, sir, the these issue, are the I, I don't These are the list of parents na nagsumbong sa akin iba't ibang eskwelahan sa buong Pilipinas na kung saan sila po ay sa pinitang kinukolektahan ng mga electric fan at kung ano pang mga gamit sa eskwelahan, na meron man pong budget sa MOE ang debit for those things. Yes. Mr. President, first of all, may I request that that list is submitted yes, so that we can you. give it to DepEd kasi I believe uh, they have committed in the hearing pa lang na any violation po ay eh, iimbestigahan naman po nila. They made that commitment po. The only uh, item left for the discussion on the floor right now is yung authority mismo ng PTA. So any direct contribution or collection sa estudyante, talaga hong iimbestigahan nila. So kutama ang pagkaintindi ko, Mr. President, sa issue is, so si PTA ba pwedeng mangolekta? And ang sinasabi po sa atin ng DepEd, the policy since 1969 has been to recognize the PTA's authority to decide among themselves, they have their own rules, they have their own guidelines, to do their fundraising, that is a gener generic term that I'm using, among the parents. Hindi to sa bata, hindi apektado yung pagpasok ng bata, hindi apektado ang... Uh, ang, uh, ang uh, grade ng bata. Bakit ginagawa ng parents yon Kasi pulang ang pondo. Yung sinabi ng ating kasamahan na nasa MOOE yan, meron yan pambili ng electric fan, dagdag ko na rin doon, ano yung mga kakulangan, di ba? yung pagpaganda ng garden, driveway, uh, entrance, kung ano paman. Lahat naman po yan nilalagyan ng MOOE. Pero if I may uh, take uh, a call the attention of our chairman, uh, talaga naman hong wala na ho tayo, nagbibigay ho tayo ng maraming pondo, but uh, hindi ho talaga nakukompleto, no? In fact, ako na magsasabi, because baka may magtanong, uh, yung mga repairs, no? Pagpalagay mo ng may electric fan dun sa loob ng uh, classroom, o di kaya yung picture na pinakita ni Senator Bongo, medyo bumagsak yung kisame, lahat po yun falls under repairs of basic facilities. Pero... Uh, natanggalan po yan ng pondo na ilipat po sa ibang pondo yan, hindi ho ng Senado. So may mga issue pong ganyan. Um, I think, I, I want to assure our colleague that uh, hanggat makakaya, uh, sinusuportahan ng ating chairman yung ating uh, recommendation to increase the MOOE. So that basic um, principle, I think everyone in the Senate supports his honor na mapondohan sana ng, ng lahat na yan. So, remaining na lang po yan kung ano ho hanggang saan ang kakayahan ng uh, PTA to among themselves decide to fundraise parent to parent. I cannot answer, I cannot add to my answer kasi yan po ang policy. Hindi ko naman ho kayo bobolahin, Mr. President, na iba yung policy. Yan po ang policy na ginagamit po nila. So kung may okay. recommendations, suggestions ang ating kasamahan, uh, this representation is happy to relay at nandito naman ang DepEd para pakinggan ang mga suggestion ng ating kasamahan. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, thank you, the good sponsor, uh, Honorable uh, Congresswoman uh, Pia Caetano, ay, Senator Pia Caetano, sorry. Um, thank you. Uh, pero, Gusto ko lang pong balikan, uh, Mr. President, uh, Your Honor, yung sinabi mo, it's been a long time practice. Tama? Policy po. Pa policy, okay, sige. I stand corrected. It's been a long time policy na pinapractice sa DepEd for so many, 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 many years. Na hindi ka pa, hindi ka, ilan sa atin, hindi pa niya pinapanganak dito. Of course, ako pinanganak nga ako dyan. Pero dapat, a policy should be dictated by the law. So is there a law na kung saan sinasangayunan ng policy 
na sinasabi nyo, matagal ang pinapractice ng mga taga-deped. Dapat lahat ng mga bagay na ginagawa sa ating mga eskulahan, lalo sa DepEd, na who's receiving a lot, lots and lots of budget by the billions, dapat nandoon nakasaad sa batas. Hindi yes. pwede po silang gagawa-gawa ng sarili ng policy na wala po sa batas. Dapat lahat po ng pulisiya nandoon po. Mr. President, may I respond to that um, statement? Um, Mr. President, as I said, no, kaya ho ako nag-abalang ipaliwanag na ang PD-603 is a very broad law uh, intended to protect the rights of children. Kaya nga po, ano eh, um, uh, Child and Youth Welfare Code ang pangalan nito. And there is just one chapter on home and school, which is only two articles. So, dito po sa articles na to, at binasa ko naman on record, yung, uh, yung uh, pag-create ho ng PTA, wala na hong detalye yun. The fact, Mr. President, that there is no prohibition, uh, that there is no, there is no um, provision that specifically or expressly prohibits the PTA from uh, engaging in certain acts to pursue their mandate. Yes, in, there is. In, in, Mr. President, if I may just continue. My statement is the fact that there is no provision that expressly prohibits the PTA from pursuing their mandate is in itself an accepted principle that there is no violation. It is a rule of statutory construction that what is not expressly or impliedly prohibited by law may be done. So yan ho ang ating uh, statutory constructions when it comes to prohibited acts. So pag sinabi po natin bawal ito, then we need to produce that law that prohibits it. And so we do have uh, yung dalawang RA na binanggit naman ng ating kasamahan. Meron nga hong RA na nagbabawal. Yes. But that is why I have been repeatedly explaining that since 1969, ang uh, implementation ng ating DepEd dito, eh, they believe that they have been implementing this in the true spirit of the law na nagsasabing bawal mangolekta sa bata. They cannot um, they cannot collect contributions from school children, students, and teachers. Yun ho ang specific wording of the law. Exactly. Ah, sige. Pagbigyan ko po, I yield my floor to the, Mr. Uh, President, majority and minority yes, leader. Yes, uh, minority floor leader. Thank you. With the permission of, of, my, of uh, my colleagues. Uh, the, the good sponsor mentioned the uh, statuto statutory construction which I used to teach in law school. Uh, we have to harmonize, and I'm, I'm thankful for the discussion. At least you, we, brought, we brought out the RA 5546, and then uh, Article 77 of the Child and Youth Welfare Code. Kung makikita po natin, yung RA, bawal mangolekta sa bata. Actually, sino kinukolektahan mo kung nangungolekta ka sa bata of elementary school age? Hindi ba magulang din? So if you look at the spirit of the law, you look at the spirit of the law, bawal mangolekta sa bata at sa kanyang magulang. Ang proviso sa dulo, kung out of the goodness of the heart of the parent, willingly, without any prompting or solicitation, magdodonate siya sa sa school, hindi bawal yun. Okay. And then, if you look at Article 77, shall organize the PTA, in-enumerate ngayon yung purpose ng PTA. Wala po dun because it should, it should solicit funds to financially help the school. Wala rin po dun sa Article 77 yun. So if we harmonize the two, the two provisions, not only looking at the letter, but also looking at the spirit, I would tend to agree with the point of our interpolator, Senator Tulfo, na bawal. And if there is a department order na may interpret na pwede for the PTA to prompt or solicit or to ask contributions from the parents, let's review this department order because in my humble opinion, it violates the law. 
Mr. President. So thank you for the time, sir. Thank you, Minority Leader. We, with the indulgence of our colleagues, may, may, may we recognize, Mr. President, our Senate President Pro Temp uh, for her uh, interjection. Yes, yes. Indulgence. distinguished Senate uh, President Pro Tempore, Senator Lauren the Guard is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, may I humbly suggest that since the GAA is the most important piece of legislation, it may be applicable only for the next 12 months, however, but you can keep on making it a special other general provision. If it is the advocacy of the good gentleman, the interpolator, and if the vice chair and the chair would agree, then perhaps a uh, draft of a special provision uh, to reiterate an old law or a policy that may be general but may apply to that may be reiterated in a special provision for the deputy budget to use a better word, prohibit, not encourage, uh, no forced contribution when applicable, when reasonable, I leave it to you how to draft it. If, based on the conversations, discussions I've been hearing, while it is a very important thing and there are many other issues in the education sector, perhaps the way forward for the solution would be a special provision. If the chair and the vice chair would agree, that would refer to policies, department orders, and the old law from the 1970s, which I heard. So that's my humble suggestion, Mr. President. Uh, how that provision will sound, uh, will be drafted, I leave it to the body. But it may prohibit or not, at least not encourage the contribution, especially from the poor families. Libre na nga ang matrikula, pero kung yung hinihingi ng contribution ay higit pa sa libreng matrikula, kawawa rin naman. So pwede natin gawin parte yan ng ating batas na ginagawa. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, yeah, thank you, uh, Senator Loren Legarda. In fact, if I may quote Yusek Poa, sabi niya nung last hearing, do naman po sa overall efforts, as you know, school-based feeding program is actually one of the ways na hindi napapansin, pero ito po yung ways to prevent yung ating mga dropouts, unquote. And, and I agree. I agree. And that's very commending. Pero it defeats the purpose na para hindi po magkaroon ng dropout, para may entice yung mga, mga magulang na mga mahirap na mga estudyante, mga mahirap na magulang na may mga estudyante, na papasukin sa eskwelahan ng kanila mga estudyante dahil wala nang makain sa bahay, di ba? Para naman mabusog pagdating sa eskwelahan. Pero pagdating naman sa eskwelahan, kukolektahan mo ng kung ano-ano. Then, yung iba pa nga sa kanila, yung mga sumbong sa akin, Sir, Naglalakad na nga lang po ako, dalawang kilometro, kasama pong aking tito. Wala po akong pampamasahe. Pudpud na nga po yung aking chinela, sapatos. Pagdating doon sa school, ine-expect kami po ay magbigay ng para sa electric fan. Ito pa po, para sa kalaman na marami. Kuminsan, pinapahiya pa po yung mga estudyante. Nagkakaroon po ng group chat. Nakalista doon sa group chat, sino-sino yung mga nagbigay at sino-sino pang hindi nakapagbigay. So yung mga hindi nakapagbigay, peer pressure, it's either gagawa ng remedyo para makapagbigay masama sa listahan, matanggap ng grupo, or hindi na napapasok kasi napapaya sila, magda-drop out na lang. Sayang yung feeding program. So what I'm trying to say here, Mr. President, napakasimple nang naman eh. Okay lang may PTA. In fact, wala akong ano dyan, wala akong against sa PTA. Use it properly. Dapat yan, eh, talagang nababantayan ng DepEd. Dapat yung PTA, gamitin namang yan para pag-usapan po yung pong mga problema ng mga estudyante at mga guro para tingnan at i-monitor yung mga activities ng mga estudyante, yung kanilang academic performance. And this is the truth. Uh, your Honors, siguro meron kang uh, estudyante sa public school, may anak ka ba? Maybe wala. Or maybe may staff ka na nag-aaral sa public school? Because marami akong staff nag-aaral sa public school here in the Senate, saka sa RTIA. At lahat sila nagsasabi na talagang pinipilit yung kanila mga estudyante magbigay uh, sa contribution. Pag hindi ka nag-contribute, anong consequence? Ah, hindi ka na maging paborito ng teacher. Ikaw ay pwedeng maiwan, ikaw ay mag-scrub ng sahig. Ikaw ang mag-erase na mga nakasulat sa blackboard. Marami pa pagawa sa iyo. Pero kung ikaw nag-contribute, go home ka na, maganda pa ang grades mo. Yan po ang madadas na mangyari 
sa iba't ibang mga eskwelahan. At yan po'y documented. At yan po'y in-interview ko po lahat ng mga staff ko na may mga estudyante sa public school na nire-require po talaga sa PTA pa lamang, binoboto na agad kung ano yung mga pwedeng ma-contribute, anong pwedeng may ayos sa eskwelahan. Just imagine, Mr. President, Your Honor, every single year, kailangan mag-contribute ang mga estudyante para sa electric fund. Eh kung ipunipunin natin yung contribution sa electric fund every year, eh siguro baka marami ng warehouse ng electric fund dyan sa DepEd kung saan bag dinadala yung electric fund. My question also, Mr. President, Your Honor, di ba meron pong MOE para dyan sa electric fund na yan? Ba't kinakailangan pa pagbayarin yung mga estudyante sa electric fund sa jobos, sa pintura, sa um, band paper, uh, maging sa, ito pa po, Sweldo sa security guard, sweldo sa janitor, pati ba naman sa kuryente. And I understand, Mr. President, Your Honor, Madam, meron po tinatawag na special educational fund ang LGU. In fact, ang LGU nagbibigay din ng pera sa DepEd, Mr. President. Sana pupunta yung SFSEF. Now, my question is, maari siguro ang problema hindi nakakarating sa mga eskwelahan ang MOOE. Saan na pupunta yung MOOE? Kailangan siguro i-audit natin yung MOOE. Yan po ba ay nakakarating ng tama o baka naman nakakarating sa mga eskulahan pero hanggang sa principal lang. Kaya may mga balita, si principal magaganda mga bahay, magaganda mga sasakyan, pero sila teacher, kawawa. So si teacher gagawa ng remedyo at yun na nga, maningin sa mga estudyante. Kaya nga po sabi pa nga ng mga nakakausap ko po, doon sa mga listahan, I think we interviewed more than 100. Sabi, kaya nga po kami pumunta sa public school dahil wala po kami pambayad sa private school. Sila po ay mga tricycle driver, pedicab driver, labandera, kasambahay, factory worker, na mga underpaid, na malilita mga sweldo. Salamat nga sinabi ni Secretary Yusek Powa, and I commend you for saying that, at yung programa nyo yan, na merong feeding program para hindi na po tumaas pa yung cases ng dropout para ma-entice yung mga magulang na papuntahin sa eskwela ng kanilang estudyante dahil meron ng pagkain. Gutom kasi sila, eh, eh, kaya hindi sila papasok, pero kung bigyan mo ng pagkain, papasok na sila. However, pagdating naman sa school, yung libre ng pagkain, eh parang siningil mo lang dahil pagbabayari mo para sa kung ano ng contribution. Sir, ano po yung tanong niyo? I'm just making a statement, Mr. President, Your Honor, kung ano po yung sentimento ng mga pumunta sa akin, mga magulang, libo na po sinasabi po sa akin. So what I'm saying is, we have to stop this wrong policy na kung saan nagbabiolate ng law ang kung ano-ano pong department order na ipinapalabas po ng DepEd para lamang pipilitin na makakolekta sa mga estudyante. Sabi pa nga ni Minority Leader Coco Pimentel, eh, pag kinulektan mo estudyante, eh wala naman pera yung mga estudyante para ang sino kinukulektahan mo talaga. In essence, eh yung mga magulang. So, for me, change that policy. Huwag na ho tayo mangulekta. Zero collection na talaga. Voluntary or otherwise. Tulad na nakalagay sa batas. Okay? Except for Red Cross, Girl Scout, Boy Scout, and Barrio High School. Let's stick to what the law says. Stop na natin yan. Huwag na ho tayo magpalabas ng mga department order para we try to circumvent the law para makakulekta. Tuloy, ang duda nito mga magulang, eh baka siguro gusto nilang magpalabas ng kung ano mga department order para makakulekta sapagkat gusto nilang yung uh, MOE hindi na makarating sa mga eskwelahan. Now, may I, may I add, Mr. President, Your Honor, kung sasabihin nyo lang sa akin ngayon na kayo po ay mag-issue ng department order telling all schools under DepEd, let's stick to 5546, period, and I will sit down. Otherwise, kapag hindi, magpipilit kayo, abutin tayo dito hanggang madaling araw. And I will not stop because I know I'm right. Uh, Mr. President, just a short response. Um, the policy of DepEd is very clear. They have a no-toleration policy on the collection from students. So 
yung itong huling mga nabanggit ni uh, ng ating kasamahan na uh, yung mga estudyante, nagko-collect um, paulit-ulit din na sinasabi sa akin ni uh, Vice President uh, DepEd Secretary na no, they will not tolerate that and they commit to investigate that. Thank you. Um, so clear po tayo dyan. Um, on that note, may I ask for a minute suspension, Mr. President? Thank you. Session suspended for one minute.